Good morning, everyone, and thank you for attending today's webcast, Stay Connected with Hagerman Lifecycle Connection for Vault. Our presenter today is Matt Lane. He's the Director of Consulting Services with Hagerman & Company. Before we get started, I'll let you know that you're in listening-only mode. If you have questions during the presentation, you can type them into the question panel on the right-hand side of your screen, and they'll be addressed at the end of the presentation. As we close down the session today, you'll be prompted to fill out a survey, and we do ask that you take a few moments to fill that out. Additionally, all registrants will receive a follow-up email containing a link for the recording of this presentation. And with that, I'll hand things over to Matt. Thank you, Ashley, and thank you to everyone for joining us here this morning and this afternoon, uh, depending upon your time zone. Um, webinar here this morning uh, probably won't be as long as some of the other ones I've done if you've joined those. I think we'll probably be wrapping up in about a half hour or so, but uh, hopefully it'll be informative for you. And we're going to be concentrating on our Lifecycle Connection product for Vault, which is something we developed here at Hagerman & Company. And also just most of these items here on the agenda are, may only be one or two slides, just a very uh, quick. We'll touch on just a, a single slide uh, mentioning the other products in our connection product line, uh, talk a little bit about uh, Vault for non-CAD users and the overall enterprise, which we think is kind of where the lifecycle connection fits in a lot. Uh, we'll touch on the Vault lifecycle functionality, what it does and what it doesn't do. Uh, to better explain how our lifecycle connection product fits in and how it's kind of uh, maybe the missing link uh, in terms of the lifecycle functionality and maybe taking Vault to your non-CAD users as well. And then we've got a, a short video that our marketing department put together that kind of ties all that together, and we'll be demonstrating the product along the way as well. And then we'll wrap up, as Ashley mentioned, with a Q&A at the end. So our connection product line is something that we've had some of these products for a lot of years, and then we've added some new products, and we're in the process of developing and releasing some other new ones as well. Uh, the first two products we had, QVP Connection, actually predates Vault. It's, a, it's an enterprise super easy to use, very inexpensive search view print tool for people in manufacturing, sales, customer service, executive management, and so on. Autoplot connection is for batch printing, plotting, and publishing. Uh, they mentioned lifecycle connection, which we'll be delving into more deeply here today. And finally, project connection is a bit more of an industry-specific solution designed mostly for plant, large plant and process uh, type companies for managing their engineering project, drawings, and files. So that's a quick overview of our current connection product line, which as I mentioned, it's going to be expanding in the near future. Touching a bit on Autodesk Vault and its enterprise features, and this is you know contrasting Vault to uh, where a lot of people are just using Vault for really managing CAD files within engineering, check in, check out, revision history, uh, where used, tracking your assembly structure on inventor files, that kind of thing. You know, what can Vault do outside of that uh, typical or traditional usage, which a lot of companies have already moved beyond. <clears throat> Some of the nice things about expanding Vault to your entire enterprise is that uh, the licenses do float, so you could buy 10 licenses of Vault, have it on 50 people's computers, and then any 10 can be in at the same time. Vault will manage all types of files. It does integrate inside of Microsoft Office and Outlook. The document categories and rules allow you to set up and define different document categories for different types of files for different departments and the different business purposes or functions that those documents uh, relate to in terms of your business. Uh, Vault's got an excellent 
enterprise security model. So it is very expansive in that regard. Uh, we'll be talking about the document lifecycle workflows, which are fully customizable. Vault does do content indexing and searching. So if you have AutoCAD drawings or Word documents that contain text within them, you can actually search and retrieve documents by that content. Automatic file naming and numbering. You can set up custom views to make it easy for different people in different departments to view the files and their associated data in manners that are uh, more representative to them. And uh, for a lot of people with Vault Professional, the free Search View print client with Vault Pro works for them. And as mentioned, it's free, so it's very easy to expand Vault throughout your entire organization. Uh, some other new developments in Vault. Um, probably most people are aware of this, but Autodesk does now have their Vault Office license which is specifically for non-CAD users, although it does allow you to view CAD files and participate in workflows associated with CAD files. You just can't check in, check out, or modify those CAD files. But Vault Office is a very low cost tool that has all the functionality of Vault Workgroup or Pro for the non-CAD user. So again, kind of drives down uh, price of expanding the tool. Vault Data Standard, which allows a missing piece of functionality to come into Vault to have new document wizard pages and property pages for editing or displaying the data. So these forms are totally customizable to what your organization needs for different types of documents. Uh, so a few more developments there. Then the Autodesk Vault lifecycle functionality, which is what allows you in Vault Workgroup or Vault Pro to go beyond just the basic checkout, check-in functionality to first just offer the ability to do release or revision management, not just check-in, check-out version management. Uh, also do full review and approval workflows or configure any more complex workflow that you need for your organization, uh, like for uh, dealing with customer proposals, corrective action procedures, service requests, you name it. It's fully, fully configurable. And then the different uh, document categories you have, they could have multiple different possible lifecycle workflows associated with them. So depending upon the uh, severity or urgency of a change that needs to be made, there could be different workflows that could be routed through. Uh, as the lifecycle transitions happen, validity checking can happen to make sure all the proper information has been filled in and then rejected if it's not. The security or the ability to execute transitions or move a file from one lifecycle state to the next is totally configurable and securable by, by current lifecycle state, by user, group, et cetera. So you know, only the engineering manager can take something from release to work in process, or you know, only this small number of users can actually go from final review back to release. So that's all very controllable. Also, you can control the ability to edit documents by their lifecycle state. So I may be set up in Vault as a document editor, and you know there's a CAD file, but the enhanced security with lifecycles could make it so that I can only check out the document if its lifecycle state is work in process. If it's been transitioned to in review, of course, it'd be good to make it so that even if someone is an editor, they can't be making changes while that document is in the review part of the cycle. So as you can see, a lot of very good 
configurable and powerful functionality there. But the missing function now is the ability to do email notifications with the Vault lifecycle. So when you know, documents transition to someone for review, they don't get any notification in your standard messaging system. Um, users have to go into Vault and then maybe have a custom view or search that allows them to find the files waiting for their review and approval. So that is where our lifecycle connection comes in, in that you can configure email notifications so when it's time for the manager, who's maybe not a regular Vault user, to review a document, they get an email notification in Outlook or whatever other email system that you're using. So lifecycle connection, you know, it's a very uh, simple tool in terms of the function that it's designed to do, but is a very valuable functionality. You know, if you want to use, really expand and use the lifecycle functionality, either you know fairly expansively in engineering or to take it outside of engineering as well. So our lifecycle connection product. It's totally configurable by state and transition. So it, it marries right to the Vault lifecycle definitions that you've, con you've configured. And then for all the lifecycle states and transitions that are there, you can, con can configure specific messaging to go with those. And yes, uh, also the message templates or are configurable, so you can set up standard message templates uh, as far as pop automatically populating the subject line, populating the email body. The email can also include a link to the document. So when I get a, an email telling me I need to review such and such document, there's a link to it right there that I can click on and it will take me right into Vault to that document, which really help streamline things and make it a lot easier. And those emails can automatically go out right when the document's lifecycle state is transitioned, or it can uh, a box, a form can pop up allowing the user to pick additional recipients or add additional comments to the email at transition time. So you can uh, configure it to do it either way. And here are some screenshots from the software. I'm actually going to go in and do this live. So I'll buzz through these here. But what I want to do is actually go to Vault. And I've got a standard demo Vault that I use here. I'm in uh, Vault Professional 2017, which is the current version of Vault. I have lifecycle connection installed, so if I'm an administrator, I can go in. I now have a new command added to this pull down, lifecycle connection options, that I can bring up, and I get a form. And if I were to go into my Vault administration, you would see that I had these different lifecycles defined in Vault. Well, our lifecycle connection automatically reads what lifecycles are available and makes those available in here for configuring your notifications. So if I pick uh, flexible release process, the states that have been configured in Vault automatically pop up. And then for each state, you can configure the email notification that will go out when a document transitions into this state. So in this case, um, I created a user, uh, HLC Hagerman Lifecycle Connection Administrator, but I can, I can pick as many different people as I want to get email notifications. If I hit Add, it pulls from my list of Vault users and groups, and I can pick any of those people who need to be notified when a document transitions to this state. So here are the available members. Here are the ones that are selected 
to receive notifications. And those can be added and removed. Uh, also here you can see if you pick any of the users who are going to receive email notifications, it automatically picks up the email address that's been configured for their user within Vault. So in this case, you know, only uh, myself is getting the email notification. I've actually configured an Outlook account to use here. Then you can, as well, you can see the prompt for recipients and prompt for additional comments. Both of these are turned off. So when I transition a document to work in progress, the email just automatically goes. The form doesn't pop up to prompt for additional recipients or additional comments. Now all of these, the, the prompt for recipients, that will also allow you to send notifications to people, for instance, outside your organization. You know, if I hit add, this is my list of vault users I can select from, but you can also send email notifications to just any, any email address. It doesn't need to be the address of a vault user. Then my message template, this can be blank, and I can just type in the subject line for the email and the message, or I can create templates which predefine the subject line and message, and then you can just, once they're available, you can just select the one you want to use, and this will automatically fill in for you. So I think that's all very simple and straightforward. Uh, for review, you can click through. I don't have any on release, quick change, and obsolete. I don't have any notifications configured at this point. Uh, for review, see I've got a similar message. You know, please review and, and approve slash reject the following documents, and then they'll be listed here. Another thing you might notice is there are two tabs here basic state configuration and advanced transition configuration. The basic state configuration, the email that goes out is only based on the state that the document is going into. For instance, if I go to you know, work in progress, a document could arrive in work in progress either by going from release to work in progress to start a change, or a document that's in review could be rejected back to work in progress. If you're using the basic state configuration, no matter which route it took to get to work in progress, the same email notification goes out. Now if you want to send out a different notification based on where the document was coming from, then you use advanced transition configuration. So here you can see you're picking a from and a to. So if something goes from for review back to work in progress, something in the email could say document changes have been rejected. Uh, just so uh, people will be more likely to see that difference and act accordingly. Uh, a couple more options here. Administrative account. That's just the account of the user who manages all the notifications. And then also SMTP settings. Uh, this is where you can set it up and configure it to the email server you're using, communications ports, that kind of thing, which is, of course, something that needs to be done in anything like this. And once you configure this, you can say send test email to verify things are set up accordingly. But that's pretty much all the setup that there is on this. You know, think very basic and straightforward. 
So now if we if I go to here's my Outlook account. I've got these three emails in here from past demos. If I now pick this document and do the normal vault change state command, and you can see it's routing through the flexible release process workflow. We'll transition it to for review. And now, because we've got this installed, we get a little pop-up telling us that it's sending email notifications. And now, it may take a minute or so for things to wind their way through the internet. Of course, this, this is going out, I'm using Outlook.com, so it's going out to Microsoft's hosted email system. So it probably takes a little bit longer than if you're using your in-house installed exchange server. But here in a few more seconds we should see an email pop in here telling me I have something to review. I'll pop back. I know it's going to come. I'll pop back over here for a second and go back to the PowerPoint. Maybe go ahead and jump to the next slide. That's actually Q&A, so let's go back. It will come through, I promise you. Sometimes it takes a minute or so. While we're waiting on that, we do have a little video that our marketing department has put together, uh, kind of tying all of these concepts together. So let me go ahead and run it. I think it's a, a very uh, neat, high-level Marketing Company video. Lifecycle Connection, enabling enterprise data management for Autodesk Vault. Organizations today want to be efficient, productive, well-organized, and in sync with everyone on the same page. But sometimes, do you feel like you're behind schedule, disorganized, and inefficient? Not all working together in the most efficient manner. And chaos has the upper hand and you are trying your best to keep your head above water. If so, the answer to your problems may be Autodesk Vault, along with Lifecycle Connection and services from Hagerman & Company. With Autodesk Vault, your entire enterprise can have a solution that manages files and data for all company departments and locations, handles all types of files, integrates with other in-house systems, and can be less than $500 per user. Autodesk Vault allows you to keep everyone up to date and current, have a single platform for your entire organization, promote better collaboration between individuals and groups, have free access for view only users, and achieve a high return on your investment. In addition, with Hagerman Lifecycle Connection for Vault, you can automatically notify users when they have work tasks to perform, notify managers when work has been assigned to their staffs, track the status of all open work items, and ensure the proper work procedures are followed throughout your entire organization. Hagerman Lifecycle Connection allows you to decrease delivery and turnaround times, reduce mistakes, stay better informed, and increase profitability as a result. With Autodesk Vault and Lifecycle Connection from Hagerman, your organization can be efficient, agile, secure, effective, streamlined, productive, and proficient, leaving you stress-free, confident, well-organized, and in control. Hagerman & Company, your partner since 1984. For more information on Autodesk Vault and Lifecycle Connection, visit www.hagerman.com or give us a call. We're here to help. And now if we pop back over to Outlook, our new email has come in. You can see it automatically. 
gave us the subject line, filled in the body, and then there's the document that we need to review. So that concludes the presentation portion of what we had here to show you today. As Ashley mentioned, we can now open things up for questions. I'll open my question panel, see if we have any questions so far. Uh, at this point, no questions have come in, and we'll go ahead and hold things here for a minute or two uh, to see if anybody had any questions from the presentation here today. Uh, first question, is this a separate purchase from Vault Pro? And the, ans uh, the answer is yes. We sell it as an add-on to Vault Professional uh, just for Pete. Since um, it's not part of Vault, we provide it as an, as an add-in for those customers who wish to purchase this. While we're waiting to see if any additional questions, well, maybe we got a couple more here. Uh, doesn't Vault have an email notification inside of it? Uh, that's one thing I should clarify. I should have clarified earlier. There's also the change order functionality inside of Vault that's part of Vault Pro, which some people do use it the Vault change order functionality, which allows you to have like a change project and group multiple documents to that change order, that has email notifications with it. Now the, the change order functionality in Vault, there's two possible workflows built into it. Uh, so the the work the change order workflow functionality in Vault is not configurable, like the lifecycle functionality is at least to that level. It does have email notifications, but the lifecycle functionality again is fully configurable, but doesn't have email notifications. Uh, so that's where those two functionalities kind of fit together, and. Uh, We'd be glad to do an offline follow-up session with any anyone who wants to learn more about the differences between the lifecycle functionality and the change order functionality. What versions of Vault does lifecycle connection work with? It works with Vault 2016 and 2017 versions, and then works in conjunction with the work group professional levels of the product. Another question, I had someone who had looked at this before, so they're asking, is there anything new with Lifecycle Connection 2017 that was not available in the prior version? Uh, at this point, it, it's the same, exactly the same functionality for 2016 and 2017. Uh, nothing new was added in Lifecycle Connection in conjunction with Vault 2017. While we wait to see if any more questions come in, Ashley, would you want to run through uh, any wrap-up information on your end of things? Um, sure. Um, if you do have a additional questions that you think of later, you can simply reply to the confirmation or reminder email you received from GoToWebinar. We can get those to Matt to um, follow up with you. Um, and once again, we will ask that you take a few moments to fill out the short survey. It's just three questions or so. It will just automatically pop up as you close down the session today. And if there's nothing further, Matt, are there any 
Yeah, I don't see any more questions, so I think you can go okay. ahead and wrap things up. Well, yes, we thank you all for attending today, and have a great day, everyone. Thank you.